Hey church family, Annie Newfeld here with your weekly small groups video. This past weekend, we continued in our Advent series called Unwrapped, and Pastor Matthew John preached on Isaiah 11 verses 1 through 10 as he unwrapped peace with us. Uh, this passage gives us a, a beautiful vision of God's peace, the peaceable kingdom of God. This is a world in which peace is woven into the very fabric of creation. The wolf lies down with the lamb, the lion and the ox eat together, the child puts his hand into the viper's nest. Uh, this is a peaceful, a, a peaceable kingdom, one which is ruled by the prince of peace, uh, the Messiah the one who comes from the root of Jesse. But, but this sort of peace, this shalom of God, is different from the way that the world conceives of peace. It doesn't happen because we work really hard at it. It doesn't happen because we decide to let bygones be bygones. It happens. God's peace, God's shalom, comes to this world when the Holy Spirit gets involved. When we become attuned to the Holy Spirit, when God speaks to us through His Holy Spirit in our spirit, uh, we experience a peace and we help to create a peace that the world doesn't understand. And it's because of this that, that Pastor Matthew called the Holy Spirit, Spirit the hidden hero in this story because the Holy Spirit is empowering God's people to act justly and to love mercy, to walk humbly with God, and to sow peace into the world around us. Which leads us to our question for today. Our website has several questions on it, but if you're looking for just one to talk about around your dinner table or at your small group, here you go. In what ways is the peace of God different from the way the world conceives of peace? What does the world mean when it talks about peace and how is that different from the way that the scriptures talk about God's peace? Now, I think this question comes into a sharp focus when we look at Mary, the mother of Jesus. When God sent the Prince of Peace into this world, it was disruptive in Mary's, uh, in Mary's life, to say the least. Uh, it meant that she would uh, lose control over her body. It meant that she might lose her fiancé. It meant that her reputation would certainly be sullied. Uh, she would bring shame on her family. When God sent the peacemaker... Jesus himself into this world, it seemed to bring chaos, shame, and disruption into Mary's life. And yet, this was the Prince of Peace. Our, our world's understanding of what peace is versus God's understanding of what peace is seem to be different. So how do we recognize God's peace when it shows up in the world around us? Well, church family, as you go, I want to send you with these words from 2 Thessalonians 3.16. Now, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Go in peace.